Hello and good evening everybody. I'm going to be doing a little bit of a shave video here for you and discussing some products that were uh, bought, sold, traded, um, gifted at the con recent Kentucky meetup. Uh, some of these were, you know, prizes from the giveaways and um, some of just samplers in the goodie bag. <clears throat> this is a sample of the Phoenix Artisans uh, pre-shave they have out now, the pre-shave ice. Give it a shot here. Uh, sorry, I tried to find some music for the shave, but uh, I don't have all those um, cool gadgets. You can either make a video or listen to music and shave, so uh, I definitely wanted to make a video to kind of introduce some of you to some new products you may not have heard of and some maybe some artisans you haven't heard of or some of them you have and maybe you've forgotten about them or you haven't tried their product or what have you. All right, well, that's kind of setting in. I want to take a minute and show you what, um, let me see your razor. Real quick. Two. I'll give it back. This is a kid's razor. This cool little thing was made by JD of Through the Fire Crafts, Through the Fire Fine Crafts. Uh, the blade is made out of wood. Just spray painted, look like metal and everything. Nice and lightweight, durable, and he made it for my six-year-old. Of course, the two-year-old's playing with it now, so I'm going to have to get him one as well. But um, I would hit him up, definitely, because uh, I think these things are, are really going to be cool um, for the kids out there. And speaking of through the fire crafts, I'm actually using one of their scuttles. Uh, this is made by his wife, Maria. Now, as the Phoenix Artisan's pre-shave is soaking in, I'm actually going to be lathering up with a brand-new artisan out there to the field. Um, this is the Barbershop Scent by Jeeves of Hudson Street, Brandon, or Byron, 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 Brian or Byron, I believe it is. Have a look at his name. I know it when I see it on the um, Facebook, but you guys know who I'm talking about. Yeah, go ahead. And Anderson's gonna be lathering up with some Sterling. Uh, Sterling helped us out there as well. This is the first time I've used the Jeeves. It seems to be lathering up rather nicely here. And I'm gonna transfer it over to the Scuttle, just have a nice warm lather for the shave here. Up. You see he's doing a great job there, splashing water everywhere, it's alright. Call it wet shaving for a reason. Now we'll go ahead and just start lathering up, let that soak on in. Now the pre-shave is supposed to also be a lather booster. I haven't used this stuff, so I can't tell you if it's boosting the lather or not, but I mean, you figure if you're any soap that you put on, it's going to boost, you know, basically it's adding more soap. I like it for the menthol in there and for it kind of just cleanses your face, opens up the pores and everything. Nice leather on the uh, Jeeves of Hudson Street. Quit it, Landon. Guys, be nice. Landon Anderson, why are you uh, doing that to your forehead? You're going to get it in your eyes and everything, son. Oh, You're not even using your bowl. Dump the water out. That just makes it warm. I'll show you the bowl Anderson has for his. Neat little bowl right here, lathering up. Hold it right in your hand. Build up your lather. This is the sterling we're building up a lather with. There you go. Now that's a good lather. What the scent is that? Alright, now let's get shaving here. Seems like I might be forgetting something. And remember not to eat soap. Yeah, don't eat the soap. This is a razor um, a neighbor sent me to try out. One he had honed. Oh, yeah, it's got a bad nick on my ear there. We get together and sharpen from time to time. And he sends me home with a handful of razors to test for them. Who is that, Dad? Huh? Who is that? Dad, that's when she home with all that. You know that who? Who is it? Guy's house we just left. Oh. Is it, um... Stop! Stop, Dad! Bill? Uh-huh. It's a razor. Bill? Huh? No, it's just a video. There's nobody on there. Alright. Oh, I mean, Dad. There's the blood. I knew she'd be there. Oh, well. Ah. 
and that lets me know I'm doing it right. Of course, if I had music playing, I wouldn't definitely be rocking and shaving. Not really my thing to be rocking. Maybe some blues, maybe some, uh, I mean, I don't know what you call it. You know, stuff like Avett Brothers, kind of that genre, whatever that genre is. Um, aside from people like Willie Nelson, don't break that. Give me all that. Conway Twitty, I don't like much music by white folk. You know, some uh, Percy Sledge, Sledge, Al Green, now we're talking, you know. Music that you can get down to. And I ain't talking about dancing, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but, uh. Wait, anyway. no! Yeah. Wait, you don't have any soap. But hey, that happens. You know what I'm saying? There. Here. Ray's is doing pretty good. I'll probably fine tune it for him just a hair before I send it back. So remember, you're free shape from Phoenix Artisans, and you can still feel the cooling sensation afterwards. Feels really good. Yeah, you're doing great. Um, the soap I'm using is from uh, Jeeves of Hudson Street. Kids Razor is from Through the Fire Fine Crafts, made by JD. Through the Fire Fine Crafts also made the scuttle I'm using. Made by his wife Maria. Probably need to add a little bit more water there on the soap. It gets a little dry after sitting there for just a minute. First time using it, so you know, it takes a minute to kind of learn any quirks or whatever it may have. It could just be I've been Taking my time. Add a little bit of water to that. Kind of slick it up a little. That's better. I'm back and showing the rocket. All right. Wait, he's back. Why am not getting my books back? I have no idea what you just said. Was that English? <laughs> hang on, Hunter. Hang on, hang on. Yes. Mm -hmm. Why am I not getting my brush back? I don't know. I didn't take land in the raise, did I? Yeah, you did. Oh, that's, I told you I was going to forget something. Everybody's moving all my stuff here. Um, well, daggum. Daggum, daggum. The Shiner Gold is in the hair. I have the tin for you. I'm going to show you. You've never seen Shiner Gold or anything. It's a water based um, pomade. Why, you know, water based essentially means you can wash it right out with uh, washing without a big ritual and regimen, it'll, it'll just come right out. <clears throat> you know, there's pros and cons to that. Um, sweat and rain are going to get rid of it, it's water, uh, and you can't recomb it. So, you know, if it gets messed up, a lot of times it's not going to go back to this original shape. Plus, side is you don't have to have grease in here for a few days, so. You have hair in your hair? Like I just don't care. Uh -huh. Of course we have hair in our hair. Yep, shiner gold in the hair. Hey, hey. Don't copy your brother, Landon. <laughs> Why do you not want him to copy me? You definitely got some, uh... Nice, I'm nice! Got some liquor smell there in that sterling soap. Which one, mine? Yeah, I thought it was bergamot lavender. Smells like licorice. Oh, I'm using, is it me? No, it's barbershop scent I'm using, which I suppose could be a, a subjective scent depending upon what barbershop you went to. Which I mean, you go to? when I grew up, I went to old Mr. Kramer. It smelled like Winston cigarettes and old uh, magazines. Did you 
really yeah. smoke cigarettes? No, I didn't say I smoked them. But everybody in the barber shop smoking enough for everybody. I didn't have to. Yeah. You kicked everybody in the face. Uh, I was six. I see couldn't us? even see everybody in the face. Wayne, give that back, please. <laughs> no. Lynn's coming me. Mm. See, I'm seeing my hand. Surprise, surprise. Why? You were just making a flat mess over there. So you, yes, you. Why? I don't know why. You tell me, we'll both know. Because I don't want to kick you. Uh, that's not very nice. I don't think we need to talk that way. Uh -uh -uh. <laughs> nice warm lather provided by the scuttle there. All right. Oh. Hi, Lena. No, no. I wanna move it. I wanna move it. Move it. Move it. Alright. Excuse me. Uh, 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 uh. Get daddy with the glass maker. Wait, can I have a ball? Now, I said it in the last video and I'll say it again. Go watch some of Gonzo's videos and subscribe. He enjoys doing this. Okay. <laughs> Jumping in here in Doings, we have uh, several products we're trying to, um, not necessarily review, but just, you know, let others know about and stuff. And, um, you know, we hope that you see something that piques your interest and you'll go out and you'll spend some money with some of these guys. Um, everybody, you know, either is a vendor or started off as a vendor. Man, You're not a vendor, my but an artisan. Oh, um, I don't have a razor now. What's that right there? So, you know, any support we can give them, more, you know, the more the merrier. So. Rick and Anderson's video. Like and subscribe. Now, let's do a little bit of clean up here. Clean up, clean up, clean up, everybody. Clean up, clean up, clean up, everybody. Wait a minute, don't. Shh, Anderson. Alright. And to finish it off. We have a brand new scent. Most of everybody's familiar with Ogala Bay Rum. This is the brand new vanilla and bay rum. He first told me about this. I was like, uh, vanilla. I was kind of afraid of what it's going to smell like. It's going to smell like, you know, just cake icing or weirdness or what. It smells freaking amazing. I mean, I, you know, that's such a overused term I think in videos and stuff but I can't really it does have a sweet smell to it but it blends so well with the bay rum it doesn't really any longer have that bay rum scent I mean it's not really distinguishable um, but it, it has an incredible scent and an, just like all their products an awesome feel on the skin Daddy? you just about want to drink this stuff all right 